Hello guys, it is That Random Dude, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get Mugen running on your Steam Deck. So, before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, and make sure to comment if you have any questions, and yeah, let's get on with it. So, what you will need is obviously Mugen, the Steam Deck of course, and um, Proton, which, which will basically allow you to get Windows games running on your deck. So I'll show you guys how to get all of that, but first we need to jump right into desktop mode. Let me just uh, put that a little closer. Here's one switch desktop, um, and I'll see you guys once it's on desktop. Okay, so now that we are in desktop mode, excuse my hair, um, you want to go to the discovery store right here, just right there. <clears throat> and you want to search up Proton QT, so let me... Type that in. Bit hard to do on camera, but hey ho. So yeah, so here you are. Here we are. Proton up QT. This is one you want to install. Um, yeah, I've already got it installed, but just launch it. And think if you go, yeah, you will be able to um install it. Yeah, install for, yeah. So yeah, or you can add a version if you want. So. Yeah, so I think, yeah, because first you need to install the Proton. And after that, you can just use it for your, on your Steam Deck for Windows games. So once you've got that set up, Bob's your uncle. Um, and what you'll need next is obviously your Mugen game. So I have it right here. And what you can basically do here is you can find your Mugen.exe. I've already added it to Steam, but I've got here add to steam right there that's what you want to do so you can play it in game mode okay so after you got that finished we can go back to gaming mode and i'll, t I'll show you guys what to do next okay so now that you're back on steam back now that you're back on the uh, gaming mode and you've got your mugen.exe what you want to do is go right here go down to properties and from here it will say compatibility so this is really important so it says so click a for Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and you you want to use GE Proton 753. Oh, sorry. So th th this is one that this is the version that actually works perfectly. So once you've ticked that and got that got that version of Proton, you are now ready to play some Mugen. So let's wait for it to load up. Okay, now. Yeah, now this is not what it will look like at first because I have a screen pack. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, amazing game. But yeah, you can install screen packs. If you guys need help on that, I'll tell you guys how to set up your screen pack. So what you want to do now is go all the way to input config and go to joystick. Joystick config. And what I suggest doing, guys, is mapping F1 to one of the... Um, <clears throat> Uh, steam buttons right here so uh, as you see i've got f1 mapped to the um back button on the steam deck l4 and yeah and then from there you can just basically configure all your controls yeah like you can basically configure anything else you need so yeah that is the beauty of the steam deck so once you've got all that configured i've already got my controls configured so yeah uh, i just want to go to save you can save your settings. Obviously, you can change anything else here, like time limit, difficulty, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Um, so yeah, and here we go. I've got my roster right here. So I'll, I'll show off some gameplay, of course, because what would this video be without some gameplay? Let me just do Thanos. Yeah, so the game run, the game does run perfectly right here. Good old Thanos. This is a custom palette I made using Fighter Factory. I might also make a video on that too, but on how to like change character color palettes or something. But yeah, so this game does run perfectly through Steam. You can play it on the go, really cool. I've I've always wanted to play Mugen on the go, so this is really awesome for me. So yeah, just beating Kung Fu Man. Come on, biatch. Yeah. 
Now it is quite hard to um do like the um back sort of this input. I think I think like if you keep on like doing it more, like you'll basically get used to it. Like the membrane on the D-pad will just like get better with it. It's something I read about that on Reddit, but yeah, so that is basically how you get Mugen running on your Steam Deck. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to hit me up in the comment section. That random dude signing out. See you guys later.